we're um, continuing in six minutes. This this shows the danger of trying to do a screen recording and do Max at the same time. I uh, sort of over uh, charge the amplifiers, and I learned this little trick right here, which is put something on here that can turn down the audio without turning down the signal. Here is the signal coming in from Spigot Monkey and running down into the sound filters. And they're doing a great job now. Um, that's all I was doing at the end of the other video was just sort of adjusting. Um, this is the uh, thing that adjusts the... this makes it the low filter, medium filter, high filter. This is their selectivity, otherwise known as the Q. And if you turn that up, of course, it becomes more and more exclusive and therefore less and less signal. But it still works. It's just more sudden. And then here's the uh, gain on each one of those. And we can turn them up. Oh, we're redlining, redlining. Not quite redlining here, maybe because we're too selective. Let me get a little more selective here and here until we stop redlining. Yeah, still redlining. How about there? Take that. Woo! Anyway, um, I, I just wanted to go back and put a regular voice in for the end of the video. Um, now that we've separated our sound signal into three discrete frequency ranges, you could conceivably play music through here and use them to affect these differently. Um, and that's the whole idea. Or you could separate this out into three different poke objects, if you will. One driving red, one driving green, and one driving blue. Whatever. Uh, you could separate them to your heart's content, but I thought I'd at least show you how to use the FFF free tilde fast fixed filter bank. Well, it's been a load of fun, 